Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at this GE 275 watt ultraviolet sun lamp. This is, essentially, a self-ballasted mercury vapor bulb, but the glass allows the UV radiation from the mercury vapor arc tube to pass on through and give you a suntan, for example. So that's why it says, uh, read the caution notice here, it does produce ultraviolet and it is important to protect your eyes and skin from the light that is produced from this bulb. Of course, the camera, that will protect you from it today because that's not going to get transmitted through your computer screen, obviously. But it's a very unique bulb. Now, I have another one of these in its complete uh, clip lamp configuration that you could have bought it in, and there's a video of that on the channel as well. But let's see if we can turn this particular one on today. Inside, I'm assuming the, the kind of black area there would be the arc tube, and we have some type of filament for the ballast. We have a heat shield here at the bottom, a nice brass base, and again, somewhere in there, we have the arc tube, and you can kind of see up in the corner here, the filament that will ballast it. A little dirty of a bulb, but uh, not too bad. So, we're going to use this uh, porcelain socket here today because it will hold up the bulb while we watch it warm up. So let's set that down. In fact, this is probably way too close, but we'll take a look. Oh yeah, it's way too close. <laughs> okay, so let me see if there is a way to do like two. Yeah, so that we're... A little closer and can appreciate what the bulb is going to do and I'm literally just going to plug it in here so we'll turn off the lights and I'm going to plug it in in three two one so at the moment we're pulling 359 watts 361 watts let's see if it changes again 300 oh You hear that? The arc tube just started. Now we're at 350 watts. 348. 350, 348. Let's see. Oh, very interesting filament design. Look at that. It kind of it kind of curves around. That's that's different. I want to kind of put it this way so you can see the, the arc tube a little bit better. There you go. Okay. Yeah, very interesting. So, again, we're at 332 watts, 2.8 amps at the moment. Wow. Of course, a power factor of 1. We do have that filament in there. Yeah, 2.73 amps at 118.7.8 volts. Oh, now, now it's starting to decrease. We're at um, 305. Oh, the mercury vapor arc tube is definitely kicking in. Uh, the filament is getting much dimmer now, and we are getting the very, you know, blue-green light of the mercury vapor arc tube. I wish that you could use these bulbs uh, just in standard lighting. In fact, I have some standard ones like this that are Westinghouse, I think, uh, that don't produce the UV. Well, of course, mercury vapor, it produces some type, but it's not specifically for a sun lamp like this. It's for general lighting purpose, and uh, those are pretty cool, but very hard to find. These are easier to come by, uh, especially at thrift stores and stuff, are the sun lamps. Um, now we're at 265 watts, even lower than the 275 it says on the lamp there. And it looks like we settled. Uh, the meter isn't moving anymore, and we're at 265, 64 watts. Let's see what we got now. Still a power factor of 0.95, so it changed a little bit. Uh, 2.33 amps at 118.4 volts. And if we turn this around, you can see the filament faintly glowing in there, just ballasting the arc tube. Very nice. 
I don't want to move it around too much or, you know, I, we take a look with the, um, with the Lux meter, but I suppose what I can do is kind of hold it above the lamp itself. Boy, does this thing produce the heat. So I'm holding the Lux meter about two feet away from the top of the lamp and oh boy, really? Okay. We're getting 6,740 Lux. Boy. Yeah, it, I mean, it is very bright, no doubt about that, and very hot. Boy, you can really feel the heat coming off of this thing. But there we go, self-ballasted mercury vapor. And of course, you know, you'll see the arc tube dim down and the filament get brighter and stuff like that. That's just the refresh rate of the camera versus uh, the 60 hertz of the lamp and stuff like that. It just makes it all messy. But uh, right now, we very much have a, a wonderful mercury vapor colored a lamp. One last look at the watts. 264. We're still sitting there. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it off. Mmm, is it hot? Boy, look at that thing glow. And that's really about it. There we have the 275 watt mercury vapor self ballasted suntan lamp boy it is hot this ba this base worked out really well for holding it for us today very happy with that well overall i hope you enjoyed this quick little video taking a look at this a ge uh, mercury vapor self ballasted sun lamp and also please comment rate share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching